Hi, welcome to Jack's Tech World. Today, I want to talk to you about water coolers. Apparently, I believe, mine has gone out. I think it's clogged. The block is getting very, very hot. But the radiator is staying cold. So I believe I need to take this apart see if I can clean it out and hopefully the pump still works so I'm just gonna show you taking one apart got a bowl to put some distilled water in which I got right here but first I gotta take this apart and drain out all the mess in it oh those are in there good almost looks like they stripped them out as they put them in Let's see if I can get a better grip on these things just to show you what I'm talking about, it looks like they stripped them. I'm on focus. Dang, I'm gonna not get this apart. Oh, I just broke my tip. I know they should be in there tight, but I don't know about this tight. Don't think I've ever taken one apart that had screws this tight. It doesn't want to come off like I thought it would. Hopefully these aren't as tight. Two screws holding the pipes in. Oh, I can't really see them on camera. Oh, feels like they wrenched them down too. This should be easy to do. There we go. Yeah, there's stuff floating in the water. It's brown. Well, that would indicate to me that they didn't clean up their radiators before filling them which turns me off well I guess I could understand but don't like that means they go out and people need to buy a new one more money for them but bad for you not your LED light and your motor underneath there's water in there, but it doesn't want to come out. So that tells me this thing's pretty clogged. It does not want to come out at all. Just hear it right on around in there. No other way of getting you out of there. Don't want to use a metal spudgel because I don't want to scratch it. That's your copper plate. Your airflow gets through the copper plate. Did the motor burn out? It actually looks pretty clean. All right. I got this little cover off of the copper and just look at that pretty bad under there and there's supposed to be little fins for the water to run through and transfer to heat and it's all darkened clog those little fins up and say I do not have anything that freaking thin to really wipe that down with without probably bending that it feels like really fine sand and let's see what I can figure out after tearing down this water pump you can see that what I have found with those fins the metal shards that were in the uh, pump have welded themselves to the fins there's no way of cleaning this off with that like dribbling it down and just full channel which isn't recommended i don't think i'm going through all the trouble of doing that as of right now i'm running a standard heat sink on my cpu and i'm actually getting better temperatures i'm idling at 19 playing games i'm getting up to 70 degrees celsius with this pump i was doing idles of like 30 degrees which isn't that great on water and temperatures i'm not totally sure how high they were getting on this but it was enough to where it was slowing my games down from thermal throttling and i've talked to a few friends and they've all said their course errors were doing the exact same thing they found that running just standard heat sinks they were actually getting better temperatures and most of them all say they have burned their pumps out just within a year so i don't think i'm going back with any corsair water coolers if i do water cooling again i think i will be going with 
think they're okay. Cool. I've seen nothing but great reviews and recommendations for them. So this was my adventure with a water pump. Thank you for watching.